Welcome back to the channel. We're going to check out Ninja Tyson. So it's a two player game. He's just eating up 20 minute time limit. Not time limit, but that's what they say it'll take. Uh, I think I played this game one time and I don't know if I liked it or not. <laughs> so it's maybe not too memorable, but I did want to check it out and maybe hit the to go pile. We'll see. So it's rock, paper, scissors. Calm, law, the shinobi villages for 100 years, but the peace treaty has finally reached the end. Guided by their desire for vengeance, the leaders of each village prepare for combat. Command your three divisions of ninjas to capture the enemy village or eliminate all enemy ninjas on your path. Just be sure your village isn't conquered instead. Talking for two players, Charles and the famous Rochambeau, Rochambeau <laughs> in a more strategic atmosphere. Okay, it's a cool art. By ILO Games. Very nice components. Uh, maybe I haven't played it because this is looks to be not open. Huh, okay. Are these like very nice quality cardboard. So let me get a path, I guess. Got our dice here. So let's just check out some of the components. They look really nice. Mashi Pazuka. It's a blank path. It's a blank. It's kind of hard to see the, the names. Yonekazawa. More blank paths, it looks like. Nothing here. So I'm guessing these. Okay, so these are the two villages. Where did I. Where was that last one? They go like so, I'm guessing. And then if we build a path this way, I don't know. I vaguely remember playing this or not. Okay. But like I said, what I'm going to try to do is put the instructions out. In case you did get it, uh, I'll leave it on here for a while so you can pause it and read the instructions for yourself. Try to get it close so you're able to actually read them. Uh, it's the story of the two villages. It's set on the back. Three dice. We got the three dice. 20 ninja cards. Okay, let's check out these ninja cards before we get to the instructions here. Maybe. No. Nope. Gonna try to keep it intact, but I guess not. Inugami, Inugami Dojin. Matsuribi. Mikumo Saizo. Osano Yuri. No, oh, this is too close. Maybe it's, there we go. Uh, Mayuzan Chennai, Tanba Boskin. I'm probably saying these all wrong. Uh, Momogi Kensuke, Hattori Yaziman, Sanda Masayuki, Fujibayashi Rendayu. This is the rock, paper, scissors thing they were talking about. Sadarobi. Hiko Jiro, Jiro, Kikyo, Aguro Ratsuyashi, Sagi Amaru, Shino, uh, Mochizuki Kihira, Kanegai, Kanegai Sasuka, Sasuke, And Akora Kiri, Oren, Mamiya Hishirio, and another rock, paper, scissors card. So I'm guessing these 
two different colors. You have blue, you have green, and red. So you rock, paper, scissors, and he is a wild card, looks like. So the ninjas, different clans, maybe. Yep. Okay, so probably like this. Let's just I don't know, but maybe. These are just double sided. It's a cool looking game so far. I think. I still can't remember playing it or not. Anyway, let's get back to the instructions so you can actually see how to play. Three dice, front and back. Let's see here. We have three ninjutsu, hidden shadow, scissors, three green paper, three rock, sword. Okay, and one shogun. That's everything. That's the wild card. 11 battlefield tiles, battlefield tiles. All right, overview and goal of the game. Each of you control 10 ninja recruited to defend your village. In the siege, your thirst for vengeance. Still not focused very well. All right, carefully place your ninjas on the path leading to the enemy village according to their strength to prepare for battle. Command your ninjas along the path to your opponent's village and capture it to emerge victorious from the battle. Okay, there are two ways to win the game. Be the first one to reach the enemy village and take control of it or eliminate all enemy ninjas. Game elements, ninja cards. All right, ninja card. Ninja cards represent your best warriors who are ready to defend your village and take control of the enemy village. They each have a different combat category, rock, paper, scissors, uh, strength one, two, or three, or four. Name, village symbol on the back, monkey or wolf. So she is part of the wolf clan. Okay, battlefield tiles. There's the two villages. So we have two villages um it says there's a symbol on there okay so this is the monkey village and on the back we'll see the wolf and the wolf village and she is part of the wolf okay Represent the villages, players defend control. They have a name, the village is going to be on the back. Okay. Path tiles. Path tiles represent the path to follow to reach the enemy village on which your ninja warriors will fight. They all have two village symbols, monkey and wolf, and dots, one, two, or three, on the back, which suggests how to orient the cards on the table. One, two, or three. So this is five and six. There's a three. Okay. So it's three wolf, and then was that ten for the the monkey? You know, two village symbols. Okay, dice. Dice come in three colors: green, red, and blue. The corresponds to the combat categories of your villagers and ninjas to represent your ninja's possible movement on the battlefield. Okay, paper one, scissors, and rock. Let's have here. Okay, to set up the game, line up nine path tiles in the middle of the table. Let's focus.
looks like italicized, it loses focus for whatever reason. In the middle of the table, add the village at the end of the path. Each player chooses a village, takes corresponding ninjas. To have a balanced path, choose one village symbol and place the path tile in corresponding ascending order of the dots. Otherwise, you may orient the cards however you like. This docks does not affect gameplay. Okay. I guess you just want the river to look like a river. So, you have your villages. So we'll have wolf. I guess over here. And then you'll look one, two, or three. Pretty much all connects because it's just a River, mouth of the river. You know what? Maybe it does because it sees there's water here. So maybe it does. Maybe it does matter. We'll see. Um, I can just look at this picture and match it. <laughs> or I can just do that. So what do we got here? That's that. It just goes down. Alright, so it should look something like this. Village to village. Path going all the way through. Alright, back to instructions. Alright, it's corresponding ninjas, wolf. Place your shogun below your village. Okay, your shogun. This guy. So he'll go all the way at the end of your village below it. So for the rest of your ninjas, and randomly place them face up as follows. Three on top of the shogun, three below the first bat tile, two below the second bat tile, one below the third bat tile. The most silent player takes the dice <laughs> and becomes the first player. All right, so we'll just move it all the way over so you can see. There's a village, kind of room. Shogun. Shuffle these up. Randomly place them. So three on top. I don't think you get the look. That. Three. So. Two and missing one and one. So I just randomly put them out there. So it says by random. So I just flip them over, put them there. Hopefully that's how you're supposed to do it. Okay. Little well, sign player goes first. Gameplay. Game plays over several rounds, made over two phases, ninja movement and combat. You take turns being active. Player until one player wins the game. Overview of a turn. In your turn, you may roll the dice and then take the following actions. Ninja movement. Choose a die to determine your movement. Move one or more ninjas towards the enemy village, following direction path. Combat resolves if you encounter an enemy ninja on the battlefield. If you want to choose an unused dice and repeat these actions. 
Hmm. So you roll the dice, like one to three movement. So we'll move here, move for one. Bring these back. Okay. The color of the die corresponds to the color of the ninja. That you can move. Okay, so you have to roll red to move her because she's red. Green, move a green, so on and so on. For example, if you choose a green die with a number three, you may move one of the green ninjas exactly three tiles exactly three tiles on the battlefield following direction path. You can only use each dice once per turn. Alright, so you can roll all three if you want to move your ninjas. The shogun, the shogun can be moved with only one die, but only once per turn. Choose one of your ninjas and the color of the die. The chosen ninja cannot have more than two ninjas on top of him in the stack. So, you can't have more than three. Say one, two, three, and that's four, so you can't have more than three on the stack. Move the chosen ninja along the direction of the path as many tiles as shown on the die. If one more ninjas or ninja on top of the chosen ninja, move them all without changing the order of the cards. So they all move together. One more ninjas are already on the destination tile. Put the new ninjas on top of them. Okay. <laughs> it can't be more than three. Okay. So well, there's two here. I guess you can't move all these on top because that's too many. So I'm not sure if you can divide that or not. But you can move her and they can move these on top and then they can stack. Reach an enemy ninja. Your ninja stops on the tile. Any extra movement is lost. Okay, so let's just do like a one-on-one. -on -one. So encounter an enemy ninja. You cannot voluntarily retreat and move a ninja backwards along the path, you must always advance towards the enemy village. Combat. If ninja stop on a tile with, on which one or more enemy ninjas are already present, you trigger combat, which continues until one stack of ninja is defeated. Only the topmost card of each ninja stack is involved in the battle, in the combat. It's robbed in this way. Both ninjas have different combat colors. Rock beats scissors, scissors beats paper, paper beats rock. Shogun is always considered to have the same color as the enemy ninja. The winning ninja remains on the battlefield, and the loser is removed from the game. All right, so you just have to keep note of this. So, rock beats scissors. He is rock, so he would defeat this ninja. And they are removed from the game. When a ninja remains on the battlefield, the loser is removed from the game. If both ninjas have the same combat category and different strengths, the ninja with the highest strength wins. So, do we have a blue over here? Hmm. So they're both, these are both threes. That's pretty self-explanatory. So, three beats one, of course, and he would be removed. Shogun begins combat with strength of four. After each victory during the combat, strength temporarily reduces as much as strength as the defeated ninja. So Shogun battles the ninja two and wins. His strength, therefore, is reduced by two to two for the next battle. During the same combat, he battles the ninja one. He wins the battle. He is now reduced by one. So your Shogun, if he battles multiple, starts at four. If he beats a one, he'll go down to three. So we beat a three, he would go down to one. The winning ninja remains on the battlefield, and the loser ninja is removed from the game. If both ninjas have the same combat category color and the same strength, they, they tie. Both ninjas retreat and move one tile towards their villages. Other ninjas on the stack remain. Okay, so we have that tie. Where's the blue guy? I lost him. 
So if we tie, we move back one. You're fighting on a village. The ninja who cannot retreat loses the fight and is removed from the game. Winning ninja remains on the village. If there are still ninjas on each side of the battlefield. Combat continues. Compare the new top card of each team of ninjas. When retreating, a ninja, a new combat can be triggered. In this case, resolve the combat in progress, resolving the newly triggered fight. If multiple combats are triggered as a result of the same retreat. Begin with the combat closest to the active player player's village. You cannot move other ninjas before resolving combat. Combat ends when there are no more ninjas facing off on the battlefield. Okay. At the end of combat, the Shogun survived. His strength is restored to four. After resolving... Okay, so... It's just one stack of battles. So he beats, like... So he technically could beat both of them, I guess. Or maybe not one, because he would tie. But if he did beat him, he goes back to four power. After resolving into movement and combat phases with the chosen die, you can repeat these phases with another unused die. In the turn, the turn ends when you have used all your dice or when you give decide to stop without using the remaining dice. Give all the dice to your opponent, who becomes the active player. You must use at least one die before choosing to end your turn. Right, so you can't just like stay back here in the stack, I guess. Set so up a game term. You roll the three dice. You choose the blue. Oh, so you roll all three and you choose. Choose the blue three. Decide to move your shogun and two ninjas that are on top of him. Three bountiful tiles falling in the direction path. No enemy ninjas are on the tile, so nothing happens. You stop your turn here, but you decide to continue. Alright, so let's just let's play out what they're saying. So you got your Shogun, this guy, and so they're going to move three. One, two, three. You choose the red die one and move one ninja with an ninja on the top of them, battlefield on the path. Two enemy ninjas are on the same tile, so combat is triggered. So they wouldn't be side to side, of course. They would be like this, so you know they're on the same tile. And then combat will resolve that way. So yeah, so not like I had it. It's your uh, opponent's side and your side. So the combat, you compare your ninja's cards with your opponent's top ninja card. Your ninja's a two rock. Stronger than your enemy's one rock. The enemy ninja's defeated, removed from the game. And your ninja second rock has the same strength as ninja two. It's a tie. Both ninjas retreat. So one would come off your stack and retreat backwards. Finally, your ninja one battles the enemy ninja three. The enemy ninja wait. Uh, that's because why now? Oh, because scissors beats paper. The enemy ninja defeated. Move from the game. Where your ninja stays on the battlefield tile where the battlefield took place. Okay. You can only play the green two die. You can move your ninja one or your ninja three. However, you cannot move your ninja two because there's already three ninjas on top of him. Okay. If your shogun of your shogun, since you already moved him this turn, you decide not to play the green die. You give the dice to your opponent. Your turn ends. End of the game. You win the game as soon as one of two situations is met. One of your ninjas is on the enemy village at the end of your turn. All enemy ninjas are eliminated. Okay. So it's just a, like I said, a, a complex, or more complex rock, paper, scissors with some cool art and this tile thing that's, I don't know if I'm a big fan. I guess to fit in a card box, it's fine. So, but it's a little long. So you're going to go back and forth. Let's keep our Shogun here. Say we put our tiles out. <coughs> and it doesn't matter that he's bigger number-wise. Because the rock, paper, scissors. Paper beats rock. So in this battle, he loses. Remove from the game. At least stay. 
And then if there's multiple, so green and green, the tie don't go anywhere. Uh, the I say the tie and the retreat one, so they go back. You just keep on going until you, you defeat all the ninjas, or you can get one ninja, enemy ninja, to stay at the opposing base until the end of the round. So if they do not take care of beating this ninja and he's in your village, they win, you lose, so on and so on. If you're in their village and no one takes care of your ninjas, you win the game. So as an overview of Ninja Tyson, um, like I said, hopefully you can look through the instructions yourself. I left them up there long enough. If you think I should leave them up longer, let me know in the comments. Um, maybe I guess at the end, just put them up there so that people could read. Maybe I'll do that. All right, here's the rules of play. I'm going to open the book, leave it on each page for about 10 seconds so you can pause it in case you have this game and lost the book or need a reference. So here we go. Thanks for watching Blur. Have a good day or night. Wherever you are, smash that like button. Hit subscribe. Thanks. Mm -hmm.